Hey, what's but, going on, everybody? Yeah, happy week five. The NFL is just cruising fast and furious on this bad boy. We are here today to break down our favorite plays for the progressive jackpot on overlay. Uh, the website continues to gain a touch, uh, just a ton of steam lately. A big part of that's the new matchup shop that is out. There's a couple of those that we like as well. So get in there, take a look. I highly encourage yourself having some fun and playing around in there. But we're going to go through the progressive jackpot right now. And uh, we're going to try to get to Bellman 12 and 0 so we can win that big jackpot. Yeah, let's get this, man. Uh, I'm going to join it while we do it, like I've done the past few weeks. All right. So, like we're saying right here, guys, if you can go 12 and 0 in this $22 contest, and 12 and 0 is not easy, and we're not going to sit here and tell you that it is, you get $12,500. But even if you just place in the top 10%, it gives you a kickback of 180 bucks, which is a nice return on your investment. Very nice. I, I brought in that $180 last week, and it keeps you in the game, right? Absolutely does it ever. Then you go spend it in the matchup shop, and you double it again. Unless you take Markeith Morris, like I said yesterday, who had his worst game in well, forever. I told you at the beginning of the night I hated you for bringing up Haslam, but then at the end of the night I hated you more for talking about Markeith Morris so much. Talk. I did not watch that game. It was like the first finals game I've missed in a while, and he was awful. Yes, he was pathetic. He also made... The, you didn't see it. He also turned the ball over in the last five seconds that not only you know, killed any chance for the Lakers, but I was on the under in that game and killed me. So I hate him right now. All right. We don't like Markeith Morris. He's on their bad side right here. Definitely got that one wrong yesterday. But we are going to hear to talk about the football slate. It's a brand new day. Amari Cooper versus Tyreek Hill. After just talking through members only and talking about the Chiefs-Raiders game, give me Tyreek Hill. Same, although it's difficult because Cooper's in a cross spot two at home. Yeah, I uh, I don't disagree with that. Um, I just like Hill now. I'm going to pick so it. It's I, just not a high-priority one, though. Same. I like Hill now more, too, but it's not a high-priority. I probably won't choose it, to be quite honest. All right, I think I'm going to flip-flop on the number two pick. Earlier in the week, I think I said Cooper Cup, but I'm on Juju right now. Give me Juju Smith-Schuster against Philly as opposed to Cooper Cup against Washington. I'm with you. You're also flip-flopping. I love it. We're on the same wavelength well, here. Give us Tyreek Hill and Juju. These are so close, and, like, we just kind of got hyped off Tyreek Hill and Juju in our members-only video. So, like, I mean, why not, right? Absolutely. Next one up, Robbie Anderson against Tyler, uh, Tyler Boyd. Robbie Anderson. Seems almost too easy, but I'm with you. I'll go Robbie Anderson. Yeah, like, if this was a matchup shop one right here, I'd put some nice money on it. I already have money on Anderson over uh, – can't remember who it's against, but I'll get back into that one otherwise. So go check out the matchup shop and play on him. I like Anderson tomorrow. Atlanta's secondary. Uh, I don't want to call it pathetic because I feel like that's really, really hard on the word pathetic. Yeah, it sucks. All right. Tennessee against Buffalo. I'm assuming this one's going to be off the charts. Same. All right. Next up, Josh Jacobs versus Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Give me Edwards Hilaire. We broke down this one on the video as well. Problem with Jacobs is he can get game scripted out of the game. And while I know you think the Raiders put up some points here, you're also well aware of the fact that Kansas City can drop 21 on anybody in a heartbeat, and then all of a sudden Jacobs is just not a big factor anymore. On the flip side, like, Jacobs is much more needed for the Raiders, and, you know, if they get it within, like, the five-yard line, they're giving it to Jacobs. Can't necessarily say the same about Clyde, about Clyde. But all your other points are correct, so I'm going to go Clyde. All right, Miles Sanders against Pittsburgh, JT against Cleveland. I'll take JT. Just want to reiterate again, I know we bring this up all the time, but it is a half-point PPR website, not a full point. Not saying that Sanders or Taylor catches more pass than the other one, just in general. I know I went Sanders last time, and I'm staying with it. It's still a gut feeling. All right. Uh, not one that I love, and I don't think it sounds like you love it either, though. Nope. All right. Like, I will pick the next one. I like this one. Give me David Johnson over Mark Ingram. It's a good spot for them to get Dobbins going, give a little Gus Edwards. I think they're saving Ingram as much as they can for the stretch run. Uh, so I just I think David Johnson's set up to have more touches. I agree with you that he's set up to have more touches. I'm not in love with it. <clears throat> Excuse me, like you are. Love is a strong but, word, but I will pick it. Like I think the Ravens could potentially score like five touchdowns tomorrow. And we talked about Houston. Like you know, I agree with all your points, but I'm just not there with you, man. I'm going Ingram. I'm going against the grain here. I got you. I see what you're doing. All right. Gurley versus James Robinson. This one, I'm going to stick with the same thing, though. I think Julio's out. I think they try to establish the run. I think you can do that against Carolina. I think Todd Gurley has one of his better days as an Atlanta Falcon, which wouldn't take much, uh, over James Robinson in this situation. Um, 
I actually agree with you. We didn't mention Gurley on our members only video, but I don't hate him there on DK, and I like him more than James Robinson here. All right. Tyler Higby versus uh, Daryl Henderson. Have you checked to see if Akers is in yet? No, I have not. Okay, then my position stands firm on this one. If Cam Akers play, uh, I'm not saying Henderson won't still see his touches, but it's a close question for me right now. So I'm going to go Higby if Akers is in and Henderson if Akers is out. Same. And again, it's just it's a close one, so those couple of touches mean a difference to me. Yep. All right, Patrick Mahomes versus Lamar Jackson, 2018 MVP versus 2019 MVP. Uh, after talking this one through a little bit again, give me Patrick Mahomes. Man, I'm not going to choose it. I like both of them a lot. All right, Dak versus Josh Allen won't be a thing due to Josh Allen not being uh, playing on Sunday anymore, so that one's going to get taken off the board. Baker Mayfield against Phillip Rivers. Give me Phillip Rivers. I think Cleveland's going to do a good job running the ball again. Same. Uh, man, another one I'm like not in love with. I know I start, I got to start choosing them, but give me Rivers also. We talked about that. All right. Matt Ryan versus Jared Goff. If Julio's a full go, give me Matt Ryan. If Julio is out, give me Jared Goff. I'm going to go Matt Ryan regardless. All right. Carson Wentz against Pittsburgh, Joe Burrow against Baltimore. Ugh. You know, I have not been that impressed by Baltimore lately. Give me Joe Burrow. I'm going to go Carson Wentz. All right, Deshaun Watson versus Kyler Murray. Look, we like Houston this week, but give me Kyler Murray. I, just, I find him to be much more trustworthy. Much more trustworthy, but I got a gut feel for Watson this week, so I'm going to go Watson, but I don't love it. All right, Teddy Bridgewater against Fitzpatrick. Bridgewater, this is my favorite one, maybe. Yeah, it's got to be Bridgewater here. All right, Minshew at Houston, Tannehill. Oh, that won't be on the board. Daniel Jones versus Derek Carr. Daniel Jones breakout week because it's Dallas. Man. I'm going Derek Carr. I just, like. He's better. Yes, he's better. Um, I think you can make rational cases for both of them here. Darren Waller versus Zach Ertz. Give me Darren Waller. One team gets Pittsburgh. One team uh, gets KC. Like, they're both going to have to throw, but I just have a lot more faith in Waller, who might be a better fantasy option slightly anyway against KC than I do Ertz against Pittsburgh. Yeah, I'm with you. Give me Waller for sure, especially after I just took, uh, what's it called, uh, Darren Carr. Like, I like the Carr-Waller combination here. Um, and I definitely like Waller more than Ertz. All right, Kelsey versus Kittle. I'll go Kittle because I know you're going to pick Kelsey just so we can disagree on one. Well, you're right. So it's a tough one, though. Those guys are both really good. Uh, Evan Ingram versus Golden Tate. <sighs> Give me Tate this week as a wide receiver, but this one's tight. So the, PP, the half-point PPR like, helps Tate here because Ingram catches a ton of balls. I'm going to go Tate also, but I probably won't choose it. Yeah, I mean, I like anybody that's going against Dallas, so it's just like I don't know who's going to catch the touchdown here. Exactly. All right, next one will be off the board. Odell, nope, that'll be off the board. Robert Woods against Washington. Chark against Houston. Give me Chark. Yeah, Chark for sure. Uh, will Fuller versus DJ Moore. Give me Will Fuller. Give me Fuller also, but don't love it. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins against Calvin Ridley. I'll take Hopkins. I got to see Ridley have a big game without Jones, who I think is going to be not going to play. So uh, give me Hopkins, who I trust to have a floor every week. I like Hopkins this week, but, uh, man, half-point PPR helps Ridley in this scenario. I'm going to go Ridley. Terry McLaurin or Jamison Crowder. Oof. I liked Crowder a lot more when I thought maybe Sam Darnold's boy would be in there. Look, I don't like the matchup with Ramsey, but, ooh, Jesus, it's tough. I'm going to go Terry McLaurin. I'm going to let the talent lay out. I'm going to go opposite of you. I think McLaurin is definitely better. You're right, but I'm going to go Crowder here. Uh, I feel like he's the type of guy that a lot of quarterbacks can have good connections with. I got you. Uh, C.D. Lamb versus Marquise Brown. We talked about this uh, earlier in the week. I'm sticking with it. Marquise Brown finally gets his big one. Give me Marquise Brown. Same. T.Y. Hilton versus Gallup. Give me Gallup. Yeah, give me Gallup and 
Give me Gallup and Watkins in the next one a lot. I like Watkins as a sleeper a lot this week. I'm with it. I was going to pick him as well. Rams defense against Allen and Washington. Ravens defense against Cincinnati. I'll take the Rams defense. Man, this is tough for me because I'm so with you. Evan loved the way the Ravens played, but I do almost see like this could be like a get up spot for them against Burrow, who, you know, first time they played him. It's Kyle Allen, though, man. Oh, you can't go wrong. I'm going to go Ravens just to be different, but I think you can see both having really good days. Fair enough, guys. That's what we got for today. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. If there's any specific play that you like, that you have a reason behind it, feel free to throw it in the comment section. We'd love to read them. Uh, if you got an opportunity to respond to it as well, uh, best of luck in week five on Overlay, guys, and uh, probably see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.